everybody. How about it? Nick, uh, as an offensive guy, what, what stands out about Todd Bowles the most? Yeah, just, you know, he's been a good defense coordinator in this league for a long time. Um, you know, have a lot of a lot of games where we have some some plays that were like, well, that was good, that was good, dating all the way back to as far as I can, 2014. I'm, I'm thinking about the game there, 2019, before I was here. Um, just a really good, really good coordinator. Um, makes things challenging, um, gets his players to play well. Uh, obviously a good head coach as well, but, you know, um, just just talking about the the defensive side of it as an offensive coach, um, you got a lot of respect for him and the job he does, the way he gets his players to play. Um, you know, he's doing a great job as a head coach and obviously been a good defense coordinator in, lo- in the league for a long time. What kind of challenges do uh, Chris Godwin and, and Mike Evans kind of present, especially for a young guy like Quinn Young? Yeah, well, I mean, both guys have been highly productive. Um, throughout their entire career. Uh, Mike, what Mike Evans has done is, is truly remarkable in my mind. Uh, what is he, 10 seasons in a row, or is it 10? Um, with 1,000 yards, that, that's, uh, that to me, that's kind of unheard of. Who's, who else has done that? You guys know? I actually, I know I'm actually asking. Yeah, um, But truly remarkable the way he plays the game. I've always been a big fan of how he plays. Um, you know, catches the ball extremely well, extremely physical. Um, con- extremely consistent, um, and then Godwin just you know being able to move, he moves around, being able to play in the slot, play wh- wherever. He's just a versatile um, wide receiver that's you know had a lot of success in the slot. So the um, yeah, they 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 create challenges because they're they're big time players, and we'll have to be we'll have to be on it. Um, like I said, I know Q doesn't um, react. Like Q gets to go against AJ and Devontae every day. And Q is um, a guy that is not um, phased by the moment. So this is a big moment in his career, but I know he w- he'll be ready to play and won't be phased. But I can't say enough good things about those two guys and, the, and their style of, you know, the Chris Godwin and, um, and Mike Evans and their style of play. And, man, I, I, pro- I got a lot of those two guys on teach tapes. Uh, I know that just with, uh, with the way they go about their business and the way they've went about their business for years now. What have you made of the week of preparation from the depth receivers in the absence of A.J. Brown and Devontae? Obviously still uh, waiting to see where, where they are and, um, you know, what their status is going to be. Um, but, you know, they've been, you know, a lot of guys have gotten some really good reps this week and, you know, we've, we've obviously needed that. Um, and so excited if it, if it does come down to those guys being out, then excited for these guys' opportunity. They've worked hard. Um, and uh, you know it's going to be it's going to take everybody, right? It's like I said before, it's not. Hey, here's how you replace Devontae's production. Um, you know, it, it's going to take the entire group to do that, and that's the entire group: uh, wide receivers, uh, tight ends, and running backs. Because you know, obviously, he's a special player. Um, and so, just again, excited, for, bummed uh, if it does come to the case that you know they're out, but. Um, excited for the guys' opportunity, and because they've they've worked hard for this opportunity. Is he going to travel? Uh, yeah, we're still waiting to see uh, where he's going to be. Um, I know it's a different way of asking me if he's going to play. No, it's, uh, it's, it's it's asked that way because if he can be clear while he's down there. Sure, um, we'll see. We'll see. Um, we'll see. Uh, these guys are doing everything they can do to get back. Um, everything they and their and their ability to get back. Um, obviously, different uh, situation with guys in the the protocol. Won't, won't comment on that, but um, yeah, we'll see. Today will tell a lot. I don't know if you saw the story about Dan Campbell having to you know, move his house. Um, what? How hard is it for your family to be, for you to be somebody who everybody in the city sort of has an opinion about? <laughs> um, you know, um, my my, I'm we're good. Like I, I, you just try to any block out anything because there's no way that. There's a zero percent chance that you can make everybody happy about about. It's just the way it is. It's the way leadership roles are. Uh, leadership roles are are what they are, and um, you know you do your best to lead the men in the room and not concern yourself with anybody on the outside. Uh, outside's opinion. You just put your head down. You work. You understand that there's not going to be. Uh, instant gratification of uh, anything. It's a long process, and you just you, tr- you just continue to try to get better. Um, that's been my approach. 
Um, thankfully, my wife doesn't pay much attention to um, the media, uh, fans, anything like that. She just, you know, I, I, th I think one of my friends said this once. She's she's not she's not as impressed with me as I as I'd like for her to be. Um, but that's a good thing. Like she just she's she's working on raising three kids. Uh, and I'm not there a lot, and she does a hell of a job raising our three kids, and um, I got a great partner in this um, with her, um, who's always, always, always been supportive, but also not, and she doesn't ride the, she doesn't ride waves, uh, I know that, she doesn't ride the waves of the season, she, um, she is steady, and I, and I need that, uh, I need that when I, when I'm able to go home, and she is steady of, you know, not too high after a win, not too low after a loss. Um, not going to be con doesn't have time to be concerned about it. What anybody else is saying, she knows. I know what she feels about me. I know what f I feel about her. And like I said, she's a star because she, you know, she doesn't concern herself with that. All she concerns herself with is, you know, the things that she does on a daily basis. And the main thing she does on a daily basis is take care of our three awesome kids. And so, she, I can't say I can't say enough about her and. Uh, and I love her, and uh, I love you, and um, she's awesome. And it's and it's exactly you know people coaches a lot of the times talk about, um, you know we can't do this job without the support of our loved ones, and that certainly is the case uh, with me. Um, and I love how, and love her approach that it's just it's um, again it's just steady. It's exactly what I you know we want these guys to be. Uh, it's just steady. Um, and not ride the waves of the season, but we know everyone, everyone will have an opinion, and my job is just to do my the best job I can possibly do, work my butt off to do the best job I can possibly do, and uh, let the chips fall as they lie. Is that the same? Not really. Nick, yeah. Nick you get to see a side of Jalen, obviously, we don't get to see, but in times where he's being criticized, the team's being criticized, how do you, what do you see from him behind the scenes on how he leads the team and maybe helps others? Yeah, um, again, I, I just think that he just does an unbelievable job of putting his head down. It's the same deal. I think he just puts his head down and works every single day. Um, but we understand that's, that's this business. Like, um, you know, the quarterback, the head coach, they're, they're going to be criticized, right? And, and that's, that's what we signed up for. We, and, but we do this for the people in the building, right? And we, we do this for the, 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 t the team that we, that we are, are on. Um, and I just see him just consistently come to work, be the same guy every single day. Um, no, he, he works so hard to be better at, to continue to get better um, through everything that he does. I told you what I felt about I mean, he's a winner. Um, you know, with the record that he has, I think I, I laugh a little bit at criticism. I mean, I mean, look at his record. Um, look what his record is in the past. You know, since the beginning of 2022, take 21 out of it. Look at the three times he's led his team to the playoffs. So I laugh a little bit at the criticism, um, but I also understand that there's criticism. It's not just Jalen getting criticized. Every every quarterback with any mistake they they make are going to get criticized, and criticism kind of. Um, appears more than the the praise sometimes, and that and that's you know our job is to win football games and not concern ourselves with anything else. And I just think that he's just done such a good job of of being able to block out anything, praise, uh, criticism, to be able to to you know I guess you know not not eat the poison of that and just continue to go about. It. We're we're judged on. You know he's going to be judged on us, us winning and losing, and and um, you know and playing well, good football. And I think he's played really good football. Um, and you know it's easy to point out some of the bad plays, um, but there's been so many good plays. And like I said, he just works his butt off to get better every day. And that and that when your leader of your football team is doing that, that's contagious, right? When your leader of your football team is just busting their butt to get better every day, that's that's super contagious. And and the rest of the guys do it as well. Saquon, more, Saquon seems to do be doing a better job of getting south to north to south, south to north than maybe previous seasons. Is that a byproduct of having a better offensive line, or is he con consciously? I know Saquon's consistently trying to get better. Saquon, like I said, he, uh, I don't remember who I said this to the other day, but like he's got this uh, unbelievable ability. His, his his shiftiness, his change of directions, his make you miss ability is unreal. And sometimes, you know, 
th that could appear, you know, he, he makes a move and then he gets vertical and that's how I've always seen him. Um, and, and so, he, you know, I, I just think he does a good job running behind his pads. I can't speak for, I obviously we watch the tape and we always watch him. Uh, I, I just never thought of any, anything negative about him except being an unbelievable running back. Um, and, uh, and, that, and we're seeing that now. He, you know, he, he can make you miss. He can accelerate and finish, uh, and he can put his pads down, you know, pads down and finish the run like he did on the third down bubble uh, against um, Atlanta. Nick, this week, Paris Campbell shared that uh, he wasn't interested in being on the practice squad initially, and then you gave him a call. What compelled you to call him? Yeah, I love Paris. Uh, I've known him uh, for a long time, obviously. had a relationship with him before the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, and got close with them there. Um, you know, again, everything everything we do is about relationships, right? Um, and so, you know, as his offensive coordinator and somebody that specializes in wide receivers, I got to be able to coach him and uh, and get to know the get to know him. And I knew, and one thing that I said, you know, I won't obviously share conversations that I have with these guys, but one thing I will share that that I said to him is, we're going to need you, man. We're going to need you. Uh, we're going to need uh, you to to make some plays. We're going to need you. I know this isn't how you wanted it to go, but we're going to need you to to f for this journey that we're going on. And we got faith in you. And it's just the way the numbers kind of worked out. Um, but and I'm sure glad that he he, he decided he, he he changed his mind. Um, but I think that shows the importance of relationships. Um, you know, a lot lot that we that we discuss probably is more about the X's and O's and not about the relationships, but I'm not so sure that the relationships aren't more important uh, in a lot of the cases. Um, and so, you know, that's what you're trying to do. That's what, you know, as a football team, that's what we're trying to do um, is build those relationships because when you have those relationships, that's going to help you push a little bit harder. Um, that's going to help you ride through criticism. That's going to help you ride through praise. Um, and there's nothing like being on a football team.